it's 3.45, the workday is done, the weekend is here, and I am heading up to northeastern Pennsylvania to Ricketts Glen State Park to photograph some waterfalls in the autumn. day tomorrow hiking the loop and shooting the waterfalls so I need to be there very early in the morning so I have decided that I'm going to camp there tonight the Falls Trail is a seven mile loop following two converging streams and showcasing over 20 named falls ranging from several feet to nearly 100 feet and rising in elevation nearly 900 feet from bottom to top. That's the equivalent of climbing the stairs to the 87th floor observation deck of the Empire State Building. dark. Which means I get to set my tent up in the dark. But that's okay, I've done it before. 8 p.m. Tent set up. Fed. Watered. And the plan is to get up about an hour before sunrise in the morning so I can strike camp, get it all packed up, and hit the trail. It's a new moon tonight, and there's a lot of stars. There's only one spot in Pennsylvania that's darker than this, and that's about two hours west of here, Cherry Springs State Park. I'll do another one there at some time, but it's just gorgeous outside right now. I only wish I had a better view, because there's a lot of trees here, and that's okay, but not good for night sky photography. But that's not really what I'm here for anyway. So, I'll see you again in a few hours. packed up and I think I'll have some breakfast let my phone charge a little bit charge up the camera and get ready to hit the trail I was a little worried this morning when I woke up at about 15 minutes past way too early and I heard the wind blowing not just a gentle breeze it was really blowing but it seems to have stopped now so, hopefully it will stay that way. If not, it just adds a little bit of extra challenge, but I should be okay. I'm ready for about seven, seven and a half miles of very colorful hike.
kind of thing I'm looking for is right there. Really nice S curve that just flows right down. Gives a nice leading line that goes through the frame. I'm going to try and stick with a relatively slow shutter speed so I can get that nice flow of water. And thankfully, the wind has gone away so I don't have to worry about leaves shaking. Last time I was here was July of last year, and there was a trickle of water flowing, and quite a few people. A month before that was my first time here, and it had rained for the past 24 hours, and there were near flood conditions, so there was three times the normal volume of water coming over. Today, there's lots and lots of photographers out, lots of people with their cameras, because it's gorgeous, and a very ample amount of water flowing. And I am not 25 years old anymore. Really, really, really cold. I'm very thankful that the wind has stopped blowing because I was concerned about my shutter speed for my photos. I want a slow enough shutter speed to get some nice blur in the waterfalls. I don't know that I need curtains, but at least to slow it down a little bit. That said, when the wind is blowing, all the leaves will be shaking. And if the leaves are shaking, I don't really want them blurry in the photo, so I need to have a faster shutter speed to freeze them. So if the wind were really blowing, I would probably have to shoot each photo twice. Once with a slow shutter speed so I can get the nice blur of the water, and once with a fast shutter speed so I can freeze the leaves and the other things that are moving, and then put them in Photoshop and put them together. There are times when I'm still going to have to do that here because when you have that much water flowing, it tends to make things move. Air currents, which make the leaves move. So I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of that anyway.
by the way, if you like what I'm doing, if you like the videos, be sure to like and subscribe. There will be many more to come. The light has become challenging. Now that the sun's coming up over top and we've got these bright, bright highlights, it's making it a little more difficult to get the kind of exposure I want to have. And it's playing havoc with me. And that's part of the challenge of direct, bright daylight. So now's a good time to take a break and eat some lunch. made it all the way through the loop and I'm on my way back to the car. We've got about another mile to go to get there. The sun was uncooperative for the past couple hours but the last few shots weren't bad because it's going down over the hill now. Together, I'd say it's been a very productive day, well worth the trip.